How does a firm maximize its profits, any firm? Well, let's start with a case study. Here in Champagne, we have a very popular restaurant called the Black Dog Smoke and L House. It's actually nationally recognized as one of the best barbecue food, uh, not only in the Midwest, but in the whole US. They sell all kinds of barbecue food, but one of the main things they, they sell a lot are barbecue sandwiches. So suppose I give you this question. You're the owner of the restaurant, and you have to charge $8 for every barbecue sandwich, assume that you cannot change that price. If right now you sell about 300 sandwiches a day at a cost of about $13, what would you need to do in order to increase profits? Do you have to increase production, cut production, you should continue to do the same, or do you think you need more information to answer? Take a moment to answer this question, pause the video, and then come back here. What do you think? Well, if you say that, that you probably cut production because the average cost of the sandwiches is more than the price you charge, you will be wrong. The truth is that you cannot answer this question all because you need important information. You need to know what will be the cost of producing one more sandwich or hiring one more worker. You need information about the marginal change and not the average. And let me prove that to you. By the way, the answer to this question is D. Let's start with the profits equation. Well, profits is equal to revenue minus cost, and what the firm wants to do is to maximize its profits, make them as high as possible. So let's make a hypothetical example. Suppose you can hire one new worker, and that extra new worker is going to make you uh, 50 more sandwiches. It's going to allow you to produce 50 additional sandwiches. So how will your revenue and cost change because of this worker? Well, your revenue increased by quite a bit because your 50 sandwiches you're selling at a price of $8, you make $400 of extra revenue. So on a per sandwich basis, or the 50th sandwich, actually make you $8 in revenue. So notice that the, uh, the revenue of that 50th sandwich is the same as the price. We'll say that more about that in a second. So the revenue changed by a lot. What about your cost? Well, let's say you pay that worker $80, fixed rate, so the cost of, um, of the worker is $80 on a per sandwich basis, or the, the cost of the 50th, 50th sandwich is actually $1. So this is a pretty good deal. You hire that worker and that allows you to, um, to, to make a lot of more revenue, additional revenue, that additional cost, so your profits will increase. But what if that worker only gave you five sandwiches and not 50? Perhaps your kitchen was already pretty full of uh, cooks and adding one more cook is not going to make any difference. Well, now your revenue is not going to increase by a lot. You sell the five sandwiches at a price of eight, you make $40, again, on a per, per sandwich, or the fifth sandwich is $8 of extra revenue. What about extra cuts? Well, now the extra cuts are quite a bit because you pay that worker $80 and that worker only gave you five sandwiches, so a per sandwich basis, the fifth extra sandwich you make cost you $16. So clearly, now you're in a situation where you, uh, your extra sandwiches are more, more expensive than your extra uh, revenue, so your profits will go down. Well, that's the logic of how to maximize profits. We call the extra revenue on the extra cost of every additional unit the marginal revenue and the marginal cost. When your marginal revenue increases by a marginal cost, you should, your profits should increase and you should continue to produce. You should increase production. But if the next unit is going to increase cost by more than the revenue, than the marginal revenue, you should not produce that unit. And if the last unit you produce actually increase cost by more than revenue, you should cut production. And you know you're doing the same when your marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So uh, that is the derivation of the profit maximization rule for, the, for any firm. The firm will maximize profits when it produces at a point in which marginal revenue equals marginal cost.